In Italy, powerful aftershocks are hindering the search for earthquake survivors. A fault line in the mountains gave way on Wednesday, rattling isolated villages. As Seth Doan reports, there are concerns the hardest hit towns may never recover. Nearly three days after the quake, this key mountain road is still blocked, and more than a thousand aftershocks have shaken loose more debris, forcing many survivors into makeshift camps. We have to live here now, this 12-year-old told us, but we have no idea what will happen next. Despite the daunting scale of destruction, Italy's government has promised more than $50 million to help rebuild. Michele Franchi is a deputy mayor in the region. This is an area with a lot of seismic activity, but these buildings were not earthquake-proof. Why? Some of the buildings were just too old, Franchi told us. Others were up to code, but collapsed anyway. In Akumali, a recently renovated bell tower was reduced to rubble, killing a family. It too should have been built to updated seismic standards. Authorities are investigating what happened. The region has struggled to rebuild before. A 2009 quake in nearby L'Aquila killed more than 300 people. Today, the city is still scarred. Seven years have passed, Deputy Mayor Michele Franche said, and in L'Aquila, houses still need to be reconstructed, and some buildings haven't received anti-seismic certificates. Pictures of ancient and once bucolic Amatrice are in sharp contrast to the town today. Rebuilding this place as it was seems unimaginable. Lives have been lost. History has been too. Italy's prime minister has pointed out that it would be impossible to bring all of the ancient buildings in this country up to seismic code. James, some here tell us they are too scared and can't imagine staying, while others have vowed to rebuild. Seth Doan in Italy, thank you so much.